If you are looking for the best monitor with speakers, you are in the right place. We have tried to include in-depth information on monitor with speakers in our video, which will be enough to fulfill all of your needs. All of them are maintaining their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturer, and real customer feedback. If you want to buy a monitor with speakers, we think this list will be very worthy to you. Now, let's get started with the video. At the first position of our list, we have Acer Nitro VG241YB Mix. This is a 24 display with a 144 HE refresh rate. It is larger than the previous Nitro 24, so we anticipate genuinely good sales numbers from this version, along with the added highlights it has for gamers. There are a lot of highlights squeezed into this slim edge display, and it's oh great because it has such a fast response time of only ones. The show is wonderful. It has genuine 8P shading scope with greater than 99% sRGB range and a 400 nit brightness. Furthermore, it has HDR support up to the edge. However, this HDR support is section level and goes under the display HDR 400 confirmation. Yet it needs quality contrasted with increasingly premium HDR screens. In spite of the fact that the 24 monitor is only 1000 ADIP, it compensates for this and is a highly cost-effective and savvy way to get some extraordinary image detail at a bit of a price. One moment VRB does an admirable job of eliminating any motion obscure from endless games and movies that is consistently welcome for a superior review understanding. The screen's 144 HZ refresh rate is perfect for gaming and general use as it appears super smooth and enjoyable to use. With AMD FreeSync, the screen offers you seamless playback at a high frame rate, 144 ft when paired with the splendid invigorate rate. With an incredible value for what you get, the Acer VG241Y stands out from the competition. On the off chance that you require IPS panels with vibrant colors, wide survey edges, and an intense response time, then this screen might be the person for you. Moving on to the next at number 2 with LG 24 GL 600 f all parts of a gaming PC setup are equally important, but your monitor is one of the most crucial pieces to set up correctly right away. If it's not up to par, you may have a game-breaking issue like input lag. Moreover, it is no longer necessary to spend a fortune to get a great PC gaming rig setup, and the same applies to monitors as well. This monitor from LG costs only $150 and delivers an incredible experience, making it well worth considering regardless of your budget. First, it's essential, to begin with. The cost since that is why most people would be considering this monitor in the first place. At only $150, this is an exceptional value, and when matched with the attribute set and performance, it is a near no-brainer at that price point. It's no surprise that LG has created a display of this level. It is extremely bright without any brighter or darker spots. It's pretty respectable in terms of color accuracy. Running an sRGB calibration throughout the Spider 5 Pro, it came back at 95%, though the from-the-box calibration was undoubtedly heavy on green tones. Though not suitable for video or photo editing, this screen is still rather enjoyable to look at. You won't see any motion blur, and gaming at high frame rates is a pleasure. And if you've got an AMD GPU, as I do FreeSync ensures that high frame rate gaming is clear and tear-free. The low input lag promised by Artings holds, with the team measuring it in 4.5 amps for the native resolution of 1000 ADIP, which is extremely efficient on a budget screen. The number 3 position is held by HP VH240 of 23.8 inch full HD 1000 ADIP IPS LED monitor. The HP VH240 monitor is reputable for its 24 inch full HD 1000 ADIP display, an ergonomic stand, an affordable price tag, hence it is suitable for work, everyday use, and casual gaming. However, it lacks some features which can be found on more expensive versions. It also supplies four extra hotkeys for navigation throughout the menu, which is situated just on the right side on the back of the display, and includes the power button. The OSD buttons can also be made use of shortcuts to get certain OSD features. For example, the first OSD button allows you to switch input sources between VGA and HDMI. These methods are based on reducing low blue light emission for more comfortable reading in the dark. Lastly, the third OSD button plays a vital role in adjusting the sound phase from the built-in Tuxtwo W speakers. Other helpful features include auto-sleep mode, 
which will shift the entire screen to standby to remain active for a specified period. Considering that it is offered with 72% of NTSC, 100% sRGB, you'll also see that it comes with 8 bits of color depth, 6 bits plus 2 bits to cater to 16.7 million color hues. Here we want to mention it is not in any way factory calibrated, and that means you will somehow place a pawn to make some alterations to become a pawn together with the excellent picture high quality viable from the reliable screen. Next at number 4 we have Acer XF251Q. If you're looking for a cheap gaming PC but don't want to spend a lot of money on equipment, the Acer XF251Q may be just a thing. It's excellent for Dota 2 and League of Legends 2. It has a refined and straightforward layout that doesn't skip over its gaming-oriented nature. The track is a matte black finish with glints to add contrast. The screen is virtually bezel-free on each side, thanks to a dual-stage display. Acer X F251Q might look like it belongs in the Predator series, but its aesthetics do not make it a member of the super-rich tier. Its stand adopts a familiar X-shaped base found in its luxury brethren. There are no creaks or irregular seams, and everything snaps into place perfectly without a battle. The base does take up a great deal of desk space. However, it gives the X F251Q exceptional stability. The 75 HZ refresh rate is a bit low for today's standards, but it provides the kind of smoothness and responsiveness that makes the product ideal for MOBAs or RTS titles. It also has a 1000, one typical static contrast ratio. The number 5 position is held by Acer Predator XB241H. A TN panel on this monitor is fair IPS, and its frame rate can reach 180 HZ, but some players who aren't so set on functionality may prefer IPS or VE screen instead. If you've heard the term TN screen, two aspects will probably first come to mind, fast or cheap. TN monitors can typically be defined that way, although only the former applies to the one we're discussing now. The Acer Predator XB241H is a performance-oriented gaming monitor that's in a league of its own compared to the simple TN panels you will find online, whether they're 60HZ or 144HZ ones. If you've ever seen one of Acer's Predators, you probably can imagine how they approach this one style-wise. The bezels are relatively thin, as well although there are monitors which have much thinner ones. We are talking about a VS amount since the monitor is compatible with 100-100 VS stand or mount. It features total height, tilt, swivel, and pivot adjustment. This is a well-made, adjustable, and stable stand. If you prefer such a stand or tolerate it, then there is nothing to complain about, as it is a stable and adjustable stand, as stated above. Indeed, TN panels, while cheap to manufacture, suffer from poor viewing angles, poor color reproduction, and poor contrast compared to IPS and VA panels. This is due to technical limitations, where no TN panel is sufficient. The number 6 position is dominated by BenQ Zoe. The BenQ Zoe RL2455S monitor is designed for those who desire a clearer image without breaking the bank. With a 1000 ADIP resolution and maximum refresh rate of 60 HZ, this monitor is suitable for console gaming. However, it is not sufficient for people on the desktop and those on some of the newer consoles, such as the Xbox One X and PS4 Pro. It has a 24-inch 1000 ADIP responsive display that will make any game look amazing. It features two display modes that enable players to see their characters easily, even in chaotic conditions. It produces clear, crisp images that are exceptional compared to a lot of other TV. As we stated before, the RL2455S is a good track for console gaming. Video game console fans should enjoy this game on a high-resolution monitor rather than a sizable TV. The pixel density is much higher on a monitor than on television. Although the colors and contrast are limited compared to IPS monitors, their quality is still excellent for this price. The screen is suitable for rapid games with FPS titles or battling, but not quite as fast as many other faster refresh rate monitors. It has the lowest input lag, and the delay is hardly noticeable. If you want a console-specific display with excellent picture quality, Benzoe RL2455 is the answer. With over 500 reviews on Amazon, it has an average score of 4.5 out of 5. It has a response time of 1 ms and a refresh rate of 60 HZ, which is quite impressive. The BenQ Zoe RL2455 is made for real-time strategy games. 
In any of these games, you must have seen how difficult it is to keep your eye on your person or vehicle amidst all the cars and characters flooding the screen. Maintaining a track in such a situation can be challenging, but StarCraft Roman 2 is optimized for the RT Zone mode, enabling you to play your regular RTS games with difficulty. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Asus 27-inch MG278Q. The Asus MG278Q is a fantastic alternative to LG34 UX 79G curved. Apart from its exceptionally high pixel density, this screen offers a lot more. The Asus 27-inch MG278Q gaming screen boasts 2560 x 1440 resolution, which is quite a step above the well-known 1920 x 1000 a type. For under $500, a 2K monitor is a superb arrangement. In addition to its high 144Hz invigorate rate and ultra-quick ones reaction time, the new ultra-quick 2K goal is a fantastic weapon store for gaming opponents. The fast reaction time of ones guarantees outstandingly clear images and video without the bothersome influence of ghosting, spreading, or obscuring. The high refresh rate of 144Hz enables you to play fast games without losing quality. Additionally, Asus MG270 AQ is outfitted with AMD FreeSync technology, capable of providing consistent and smooth visuals. This innovation works together with the DisplayPort 1.2 technology, typically with low frame rate compensation to advance the screens every second. The Asus MG270 AQ is designed to give you the best gaming experience. With its Game Plus and Game Visual features, you're sure to get the most out of cutting-edge gaming. The number 8 position is held by LG 34G950F. If you seek a 34 gaming screen that offers a high picture quality while improving your gaming experience, get LG 34G950F. It has a WQHD Nano IPS curved picture to surround you with stunning visuals. Furthermore, the four-sided borderless screen makes you feel like you are approaching the entire screen without bezels. Also, AMD Radeon FreeSync 2 Assist in achieving reliable and smooth interactivity. It has 3440 x 1440 resolution for a striking contrast, which implies that you see everything much better than a 16-9 screen. The display HDR400 improves the hue's naturalness, so you see even minute details with amazing clarity. The FreeSync screen for gaming will put an end to stammering and picture tearing. The stand for the screen is customizable so that you can alter it to your needs. It is a VSA compatible screen so that you can use it in your RV. Next at number 9, we have LG 32UD99W. Unless accompanied by HDR, 4K is not enough to provide the best picture quality. Well, that is what LG 32UD99W is about. This flagship monitor speaks plenty about the expectations of a fantastic gaming monitor. The screen comes with a 4K resolution and supports free sync and low input lag. So you may be able to take gaming to the next level. But is it worth that amount? Let's find out. This LG 32UD99W monitor has a superb build quality with a luxurious outdoor. You get ultra-thin bezels just 1.3. So it appears frameless when it is on or off. With bezels that are thin and silver vinyl borders, the track will look stunning in any gaming setup. It comes in one box with all the cables and power brick. The track bolts together to the metallic base and then slots into place on the monitor. In place of black stripes, LG goes with white trims to finish the elegant look. The base is made of cast aluminium and a lace texture for a grand appearance. It won't shift if you push it from the desk. This monitor's adjusting capabilities aren't as good as a pivot screen since it cannot be tilted more than a few degrees. Also, this monitor can be switched from landscape to portrait mode which is great for photo editors and video editors. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Dell 3818DW. The Dell 3818DW is for digital artists, like with the rest of the UltraSharp series. It's 38-inch ultra-wide curved display and 3840x1600 resolution are all great, but performers will especially appreciate its super-accurate IPS panel. It is a pricey upgrade for almost anyone, however, it is intended for users that need good color accuracy and a single workspace. If you need one monitor, it may be worth the investment. Many will not benefit from a dual monitor desktop, however, I can recommend UltraSharp for people who want a unified workspace or a monitor to plug in a USB-C notebook. However, 
Fitting it into your budget is up to you. It's not the biggest monitor on the market by sheer dimensions or resolution. It's 35 inches wide by 22 inches tall, so you may have trouble fitting it on a desk that also contains a desktop. The base is a bit big too. There are two speakers built into the screen, but audio from these speakers should only be used in an emergency. They're no better than laptop speakers. Thanks to USB-C, the screen is also somewhat future-proof, enabling video, information, and sound. The interface also supplies electricity at just 60 watts. Most ultra-portable notebooks and tablets will be fine with that. Still, if you're working with a more significant, more powerful MacBook Pro or something with different graphics, it might not be possible to charge completely off the one USB-C port. That's all for today. All the product links in the description down below. We upload videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.